Yeah, I think his whole family is like anti-vax in general, not just like COVID anti-vax, but they, I don't know, maybe I'm putting, or no, I think they're actually, I know for sure he told me they were very anti-abortion. I don't know about like vaccinations actually. I think I'm conflating, yeah, I'm conflating his opinion on vax, I'm, confl I'm conflating, uh, I'm mixing up their opinion on abortions with vaccination. What, Nick, why are you making things up? <laughs>
I'm just not. I'm not a person to sit down and have a debate with people. I think this is reasonable. Our reason within the commentary sphere. Yeah. If one person has an altercation mm-hmm. with another person, the instantaneous response is to monetize that and, and then argue with each other online for entertainment. And I just don't think that that's productive. I don't think that that helps anyone. I don't think that it helps anyone see each other. I would say that it is productive, but <laughs> I, also don't, I also think it's reasonable if she just didn't want to do it. You know, In your mean? defense here... Um, She's so making an I, accusation to me, and so my response is like, all right, let's talk about it. You know, that's reasonable. If it was the way that she's describing it, I think that you'd be out of line, but just like debate me on it. But I, I mean, there's a bit of context missing that this has become like a shit fight by the time you offer to debate her, right? right? Like you guys were like going back and forth for a while. There's a bit of a middle area here that we're not really discussing. Uh, yeah. But I, I don't think anything she's saying is inherently bad or wrong. I think she's. It does I, I get where a she little comes bit. From. It does pay me a little bit as like a spurg where I'm just like slinging the n-word and then someone has an issue with that and then I'm just like debate me lol on my stream you know like because that's not really what I do but well, that's not really what happened but yeah, yeah it, it ended up getting to that point but by that point like I, it was like well you're fucking racist well you're a fucking race bather like obviously at that point there was no like no one in that situation was looking to have a positive discussion it was just like let's do as much damage as possible to either side yeah literally and, no, and again that's what like that, that's not necessarily a good thing either. It's just what happened. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a viewpoint. I don't think that that helps anyone gain a better perspective. I don't think that that helps any situation. And something that honestly reinforced this to me is when Augie had his debate with technicals. They got nowhere. Literally, the pair of them got absolutely nowhere. So it kind of proves my point that debates aren't necessarily necessary. They're just not. Um, sometimes you can just disagree with somebody, make your video, talk your shit, and just move on. And I just couldn't understand why that was a concept that you couldn't grasp. And I think it's because, like I was saying previously, it's because he didn't like the fact that he was called racist. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why you guys want something from me and I'm just saying no, and that's not respectful. You're not just saying no. You're literally lying about me, saying that I'm a racist, saying that I made jokes about, like, George Floyd and shit on my stream and talking about you. That's literally a bullshit. You tried to say we promoted some racist art that, like, Colton... Okay, never mind. She she goes over it. Um, she ne- I, Okay, that was the context that I thought was missing. Never mind or something we denounced it you're just such a you're just such a liar it literally is that simple like it literally is that simple i don't understand this like i've never i've never like this is weird weird behavior but you know it'd be good content if she just debated me even her own viewers like not viewers that i'm bringing to her channel but her own viewers would fucking love it you know they would because no matter how hard i demolish her in a debate they would pro- they'd probably be like i feel like most of her audience would probably just automatically agree with her and say that she won either way you know what i mean like i don't look at petty pages small fraction of an audience as people that i'm to be able to you know I'm such a dick in this clip flip in my favor so but you're mad probably like it they yeah, probably hate me yeah. they probably like to see her you know so destroy me from their perspective no, I'm not you know saying what i mean it's just you know, win, win. Like, it's just funny rewatching this situation all around all right and i just kind of feel like and i've said this multiple times as well i feel like white people specifically are at a very big disadvantage when it comes to entering the world and understanding and dealing with the elements of race within the world because i feel like they have to actively unlearn systematic oppression actively unlearn systematic racism actively unlearn um the way it is the various different races are stereotyped um and learn the fact that they're they have this inherent not in unlearn but learn to deal with the fact that they have this inherent privilege that comes along with their race which is a birthright that they literally can't do anything about and it's a very difficult situation to be confronted with where it's like you're a privilege you're a privilege better than the rest of the world now you need to manage that responsibly and I feel like it's difficult for a lot of white people to be able to be confronted with that information and think to themselves, holy crap, I have to deal with this responsibly. I've got this additional responsibility that I didn't even ask for. It wasn't my family who did this. And, you know, uh, I wasn't the person who enslaved people. And that's the instantaneous reaction is that they want to disassociate from the systemic situation that is happening around us. But it's an unfortunate point that they just have to deal with. And I feel like... Th- like, as I was saying previously, like, everybody has a little bit of racism in them. It's up to us to actively unlearn that and try and become better people. When I'm having these discussions with people, it's impossible to have these discussions. Okay, this is completely le- random, but I think that's actually Mr. Girl's take on racism, too. Because I listened to a <laughs> debate about that recently. Do you need to stop watching Mr. Girl? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, he was like, everybody's racist and it's bad, but why? <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, bruh. Dude, you're becoming a with individuals in fucking take. Okay, thanks, Smaggle. Yeah, no. <laughs> My humble opinion, who are unwilling to see anything outside the parameters of 
it being some kind of oppression olympics for other people like for instance with the george floyd clip it is that i showed you now granted it was augie who was supposedly stepping on the neck of nicholas diorio and they disavowed that picture but they still were complicit in the action they were still giggling i don't know who was giggling in there but there was people laughing i, I was giggling nicholas diorio was a dick for wanting it was me on the stream i was they absolutely were still giggling. In showing it on the stream they were still complicit in showing that imagery and that imagery is triggering to somebody like me especially a black person who has seen this happen to multiple people multiple family members multiple black people around the world and can I, I would just like to clear that up. I'm not giggling because, like, holy shit, dude, this George Floyd meme is the funniest thing I've ever Whenever seen. Whenever you see, like, anything that's, like, nuts, you're going to be like, wow, wow, you know, like that kind of. Well, I mean, I watched a video yesterday of a newscaster. Uh, who was doing watching a high speed chase, mm -hmm. and the and the chase abruptly ended after the motorcycle hit a car yeah, and the person's body that. flipped into. Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't show it, but we. I, but the I uh, that, the okay. newscaster breaks into like a giggling smile, right? Yeah. We just yeah, uh, we were just talking about that. Yeah, it, it, it's like there's a certain level of like, holy shit, this is so retarded. There are such retarded fucking people in our audience. That I, I, the concept of something like that even ever being considered, the thought that like somebody had a thought and then they drew humorous. this and it then they posted it, it online and then they did this because they wanted our attention. That's hilarious to me. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There is objective I, comedy in this, and I guess that's like. And a the comedy thing, isn't like, found in the picture. I uh, believe me, the comedy isn't the picture. I'm, I, and I think it's pretty obvious that we're giggling at like the fact that Boblax is just like, oh, this is terrible. Get it off the screen. Like at one point, Edwin fucking says, uh, what, okay. what did he say? He goes, it's this like is a, really bad, guys. Which made it funnier. It's like like, the reaction yeah. that we give whenever like somebody like has like a slip up on stream, and then we're just we all yeah. just start laughing because we're like, wow, you're a moron. You said that on, str you know what I mean? It's like. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know, if you want my take on race relations, um, I don't know, just look at all the people in the chat calling me a cuck every time I talk about it. Like, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, good, good. <laughs> you know, it's like... In 99% of times we talk about like stuff oh, like that. I'm sure God. everyone will roll their fucking eyes. Just in this one instance, I laugh at something <laughs> offensive. I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty, like... Um, You've done a pretty I don't know, good I'm pretty job active of on social politics. You know, your, your actual opinions on things, you know, like it doesn't yeah. take a, a genius. It's not hard to out. find either. Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. And I, nobody in the chat is I, one, nobody that's just wondering if Nick Dior is a racist, you know, they're not like suspicious of his real life. Nobody, yeah, nobody yeah. thinks like that, you know. Well, I mean, it might be hard for uh, Mr. Now, Edwin, on the other hand, it's a question, it's questionable. People. No, I'm just kidding. Dude, you should have saw me. Okay, so when I was, I, I know this person's not friends with us anymore, quote unquote, or whatever, but like, when I was booking technicals to be in my YouTube hypocrites video, uh, I hope he oh, puts this no. in. It's the most awkward encounter I've ever had in my life. Because like, I wanted him to do his joke where he talks about the grape juice people, because I was talking about uh, how um, Ed Troyer um, was being sued $5 million profiling. for racially profiling a black man. Yeah, exactly. And I wanted to like, make fun of him because that's an absurd fucking thing that happened and it was like a comically absurd racist moment so um i reached out to technicals at the time uh and i was trying to convey him what i wanted him to do and it, he was like so what's the thing for what are we doing about it? and i'm just trying to explain it and it just sounded like the most cringe shit ever i'm like uh so you know the skit with like the grapes um i was wondering if you would um so th this is about police brutality and um and it's Jesus it's Christ. it's hot. Um, and it, dude, just the awkward way I was trying um, to act uh, technicals. Can you, can you say the N word <laughs> in my video, dude? <laughs> good lord. Like, oh god, it's so fucking cringy. Honestly, like if we were on better terms, I'd ask him if I could just release it. But dude, it was it was like the most embarrassing. He's like Nick. Hmm. It's just fucking funny. It's fine. No problem. You don't have to like make yeah. a song and dance out of it. Yeah, I'll say the N word um, on your video. Could you, could you say the joke with the grape juice and the, and the watermelon? Yeah, that's how it, oh, it's like. Honestly, honestly, I'm gonna read you what I wrote him. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. go read. I'm gonna find it. Dude, you're leaking uh, DMs. I'm not gonna leak his part. I'm just gonna tell him what I wrote him. Um, if I can find it. Can you do the joke with the um with the um the the uh? You're just sitting yeah. there trying to explain it. Oh god, it's so cringe, dude. Where is it? Uh, I have to go back to like May, which I don't DM him that much. So actually, I went all the way back instead of May. Oh, <sighs> you guys are best friends. Y'all met at VidCon. 
Yeah. I wrote, didn't know? Okay, I wrote. Yo, can you do me a massive favor? Lameo. I'm gonna get cancelled for asking this, but it's gonna be really fucking funny. Uh, so you know your famous skit that you made for ESAM, right? Can you make a cameo in my video saying the same line? I swear it's for a good reason. Alright, alright, let me tell you the context first before you say yes. I'm making a video on hypocrites, and people are in it in ascending order. So it starts with people like blah 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 blah. At the very end of the video, I'm unveiling the sheriff in charge of the Onision investigation is going down because he got caught red-handedly, red-handedly racially profiling someone. It's insane, dude. So after I go after the guy, I want you to say the meme. But if you're uncomfortable, I 100% understand. So I don't want to make you think you have to make the joke. But this guy was caught beyond 4K. So I wanted you to look into yeah. the camera and say uh, the, the six-letter word for grape. <laughs> Juice drinking. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going. <laughs> um, did you, I, is that what it looks like, man? You're just like, yeah. You're white. That's what that DM says. You're white. It was unironically one of the most embarrassing things I ever had to ask. I think it came out good in hindsight. Um, now I want to delete it. But um, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, there was. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. That's so funny. <sighs> All right, let's keep watching this. Mm -hmm. I'm super, I'm the second largest segment in this. ...with somebody who refuses to acknowledge that that image, whether they think or believe it does or not, has impact to my demographic. And having that kind of a conversation is just pointless. Okay, let me respond to this real quick. I understand that some of the content that I air on this show is sensitive and triggering to people, but that's the point. I mean, I'm, I'm doing, like, YouTube, like... I don't want to say like shock jock because that's not really the vibe I'm going for, but like in terms of like the levels of like intensity, yeah. I mean, that kind of is. I mean, it's not that I'm going for that; it's that I'm fine with it existing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't actively try to be like edgy content creator, but like you went I also acknowledge people are gonna be edgy. I might even be edgy if I feel that it's appropriate at the time, and I'm fine with it existing. And I. My, you my also don't regularly make George Floyd comments on your fucking. That's the stream. thing, right? Like, I'm not trying. I, this wasn't a planned bit that I'm like trying to accomplish. I'm not trying. Yeah, this to, like, was fight. like parading like a web forum and someone posting it while we were currently in the web forum. Right, but like more just talk about my channel as a whole. Like, I'm not trying to be anything. I'm just not. I don't have a problem with very many things. Period. You know what I mean? So shit does yeah. happen on stream, and I do acknowledge that it is offensive to some. Obviously, it's going to be, but. I would just say watch something else, you know what I mean? Not in a condescending way. I think a like, better way to put it is that like a lot of your content is offensive to a lot of people, but not always the same people. Uh, and, and that's okay. There are certain people I mean, who yeah. are built to watch content that could be offensive, uh, self-inflicted and stuff like that. There are people who aren't. To be honest, I don't know if Petty Page was basically your primary demographic. Um, no. She seems chill and all that stuff, and I don't think she's a bad person. But like a lot of the... I, I don't know, your audience isn't always, like, a normie audience, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah um, I, I don't know. There are people who aren't built for my channel, and I don't try to, like, well, conform to what they want, usually. I kind of just say, like, alright, if my content's not for you, there are plenty of streamers who make content at night that you can watch. Yeah, there's a lot of people that, you know, um... There's a lot of uh, content that I even, like, stream on this channel that's even offensive to my core audience, like... For instance, when I have Nick on, you know, my core audience of edgelords and, and epic people, you know, they don't really like- They're like, holy content. shit, is, wait, wh why is Mini Vosh here talking yeah, about exactly, socialism? Yeah, exactly, so even Did this my guy own, go to Aiden's school of thought? Like, what exactly. the fuck? Exactly, even my own base of people get offended at my content, yeah. so it's like, Okay, you know? maybe not that, it's sometimes. <laughs> I'm half joking right, right now, by the way. Uh, I'm just, but yeah, my, my point is, is like, look, shit happens on this channel, and it's a reality that- I would advise people who don't want to run into that, don't watch. You know what I mean? That's my Yeah. Thing. Anyway. Absolutely pointless. I don't think it's going to make anything better at all. But he wants it. And he'll barrage and go at me on social media for ages and ages until he gets it. And the situation, the trope that's been put out there that, oh, Paige is constantly talking about Orge. I will go weeks without talking about him. And then somebody will bring him up. And then it'll be, why won't you debate Orge? And it's like, I'm constantly bombarded by that. And the funniest thing about it all to me is that we're at this space now where I've said to Augie, let's have this discussion. Augie has said, let's have this discussion. And it's been radio silence. I've not heard from him since. So I don't even think he really wants- Okay, let me explain that. Damn, you Dude, I'm Holy shit, bro! 
All Dude, right. Augie ran, had him like he's at. No, let me explain. Yeah, this. I challenged and he ran. He so, ain't messing with the man. All <laughs> he right, knows all I right, got right. all the plans. He knows I'm making the bands. So. Good one. All <laughs> right, let me explain this. So here's the deal. So Paige reached out and she said she wanted to have a conversation like the day before I left for like VidCon or it's like the week or something, right? So I was just basically saying like, look, I'm kind of busy this week. Even the days that I wasn't going, like I was like fucking busy with like prep, like fucking travel shit and stuff like that. So I was just like, let's do it afterwards, right? And she was like, all right, that's fine. Um, after I got home, I just got like fucking bombarded with like 50 fucking personal issues that were like, consuming like my entire like fucking like uh being and i didn't really want to like debate uh while i'm also dealing with like ten thousand other personal because like look i mean it debates you know a conver it wasn't really a debate it's gonna be more of a conversation but even still it's like something i have to like fucking plan for it's pretty stressful i mean i take conversation stuff pretty like i just didn't want to fucking deal with it at that exact moment and then once i was fucking done dealing with all that shit uh it didn't really like Neither of us were talking about anything that was like relevant to this, right? So I was just like, all right, if this comes up again, then, you know, we can have it or something. And obviously, yeah, it's coming up now. So if she wants to talk or whatever, I might send her a fucking DM after the stream or something like that. But I'm not running from, I, I didn't run. I was just like, it just came up at the most inconvenient fucking time for me. And then once I was like done, there was like, it was like random. You know what I mean? And the same thing happened to the Bell Aubrey debate. The fucking Bell Aubrey debate also happened around that same time. It had to happen after VidCon. And then by the time I got home and I was ready to like fucking debate, she couldn't find a moderator and I just lost interest in that completely because I was like, nobody gives a fuck about the Eugenia Cooney story anymore, right? Like I forgot everything about the story. I'd have to fucking relearn everything. I'd have to fucking research and do, do all this. And why put in that much effort for, uh, if she wants dude, to have it, you I'll mean do research, it. Augie would have just been DMing me mid debate going, hey dude, do you know this? Do you know that? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> the problem is, is like, I'm putting in all that fucking work for the Bell Aubrey debate, and nobody's gonna like watch this shit. So like, if she wants to have it, still, I'll do that, right? But she wasn't fucking hitting me up. I wasn't really hitting her up, so I was like, well, whatever. I just, whatever. You know what I mean? I, so, I yeah. think I'd do better if I try to get her scheduled on the Hippy Dippy Royales. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. It's like I know all these fucking Twitch mods now, so it'd probably be a lot easier to get a fucking. Mod yeah, we have now. way more unbiased people to moderate. Yeah. <laughs> So no, like I, honestly, if, Stardust will probably moderate anything. If Paige wants to talk, I'm down pretty much any time. <clears throat> uh, well, yeah, pretty much any time. I mean, I'm a little bit busy this week, but yeah, we can set something up. What's that? Someone's so like, it's okay. It she talked to so Edwin no, instead. Okay, I heard all the private calls for happened? cancer. Like every private call with Bell. I'm I not gonna do. A, I'm not gonna do a private call. I wouldn't either. I, I dude, after what they told me, I would be like, way no way. That would never happen, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, private calls are super fucking cringe. Fuck that shit, dude. If you think Wait, people would not watch your nuts, though, they heck? definitely would. Here's the problem with that, all right? Eugenia Cooney is a 10 out of 10 guaranteed topic on my channel. Nobody gives a fuck about it. And also a debate one month after the drama. Who's gonna... I mean, maybe the hardcore people would like that shit, but nobody else would care. And honestly, I didn't care either, right? I didn't want to fucking talk about Eugenia Cooney. That shit was like a month ago. It's a dead topic now, you know? We've moved on. But, I mean, if she hit me up and was like, let's do this, okay, yeah, I'll do it. But if she's making no active, like, fucking effort to, like, engage in this, then I'm not really going to either, you know? Does that make sense? All right. Yeah. Let's keep watching. Yeah. Wanted me for, like, months to get? These clips I'm showing you are literally from five, six months ago. KX and here we are in 2022. I've even cents. said at the Update back end of 2021, let's do this in October. Two. Five, ten, and based on nothing. His and that's Nick the reason why I didn't want to um, do the debate with Orgy. Okay. Um, if you guys are aware, the then more recently... Huh? Oh, that was in the past. That wasn't present page, that was past page. Posting drama vids to oh. Us in LC Wait, when? So lol. I don't know, but th you heard their voices were different? Well, she's on and a then she's microphone. like, and that's... Yeah, but then she's like, and that's why I didn't want to talk to Augie. So she previously oh. must have recorded that. Oh, so that's okay. not current page. All right. Well, even still, like I'm, I'll hit her up yeah. for a fucking combo. I was actually already thinking of doing that recently anyway, because I saw she was on Edwin's stream, and I was like, I, w I was thinking about it. I was like, oh shit, we should probably do this, right? So, yeah. Um, big super chat just came in, hundred dollars. 
Update, Augie is stagnant at 2.5 out of 10 base on his lameness. Nick has a plus plus to a 4 out of 10 for Dragon Creep Show. FYI, she used to post an artist salt LC thread prior to the popularity and bragged about her YouTube channel when she started posting drama vids to us in the LC Discord, so LOL. Yeah, she used to brag about her fucking income and shit on LolCow and stuff and flex it. She, was she did. She would, she'd be like, yeah, I hear Shannon makes like 20K. I don't know if that's true. I just know some YouTubers who are about her size and then she makes 20K. And I heard she just moved into a gigantic house. What a bitch. Yeah, okay, Shannon. Um, very yeah. subtle. Very subtle. 20K a month. Very subtle. 20K a month. She ain't making that anymore. Yeah, 20k a month out of her uh, Toyota Camry. Um, yeah, big 07s to KX in the chat. Even though they hate me, they're very generous. Yeah, they rank me higher than you, and I haven't gotten the donations since I've been on YouTube. Hmm. Oh, Yikes. shit. Oh, Yikes. fuck. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Also, we're in the five hours. Somebody rolling ads. Just kidding, we're not Hassan. All right, let's keep going. I have said that I will have a conversation with him, not necessarily like a full blown debate, but I will have a conversation with him off off the internet, just me and him, because I've noticed. Excuse my voice is going. Because I've noticed that in his off the internet, uh, why not? Why not online? Comment section, especially when he's been talking specifically about myself, the things can get very racist. Um, I've had screenshots and videos of people, uh, basically. Oh God! Wait, Dumpy's. Okay, I can't use that joke anymore. Is he Type not? The, word, the N word yeah, over and over and I don't feel like, for me- no. Wait, what? No, 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 oh, oh no. Oh my god, dude. No. no. What? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Did you fucking lie about W being I didn't, black? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. He's 25. Hmm? He's 25. <laughs> What does that have to do with him? Percent. Percent? I saw. I saw. I saw his twenty-three and me. There's evidence. Oh. You're denying. Does he look, does he look really white? Uh, he's like uh, really pale white. No, kind of no, dumb. No, he's not. He's not pale. Okay, I have pictures of him on my fucking Twitter account. You see. Cents. Ain't pale. I would like to clarify that All right, I rage man. from both of you. Oh no. With the passion of one thousand <laughs> sons. I'm not looking good here, Thank am I? You. So who's- are you more Asian than Dumpy's black? Um, well I'm 50%, so if Dumpy's 25 then I am, yeah. Okay, I think I get it now. Got yeah. it, we can keep going. Okay. Hey Augie, you, you also got another $100 donation from KX. Did I? Wait, what yeah. the fuck? Another 100 I would like to clarify that my rage for the both of you still burns with passion of 1,000 suns. Thank you. Holy shit. That is a massive dono. And then cats are flocking through 20. Hi, Alki, give this to Nick. I will not, think, but thank you. Good one. Good one. Nice <laughs> try, though. But I'll clip this segment and post it to my channel, so I'll make the money there. <laughs> my? <laughs> you, wait, are you live? <laughs> no. All I'm right. just going to take yours. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me consent one time, so I'm good forever. Dude, I'm Hello, like, Hopeless Peaches. I'm like, whatever you want to post, Nick. All right. You, you literally it. said that, so I'm gonna probably so you can just start posting my own, <laughs> my own my own segment. You're like Augie RFC response to Petty Page. It's just my video. You're like, okay. well, as long as I'm in it, Augie. What the fuck? I'm not yeah, gonna just start yeah. <laughs> Augie so RFC versus uh, Technicals debate. It's just reposting Keemstar's <laughs> channel. Like, <laughs> Augie gave me permission. I mean, it's yeah. <laughs> I mean, you did say I can get. You're just like I'm just like responding to like fucking Dude. like. Uh, smaggle daggle drama and you just post on your channel it's like, what the fuck? Okay. dude somebody commented on my video they go hey nick you know this drama right is from fucking like march of last year and i go yeah dude that's when it was recorded i didn't have daily content to post today so i posted a video from march of last year yeah I mean, the whole channel is about making money like i'm not dude the whole second nick diorio channel is literally about money so it's doing I mean, really well i was looking at this morning dude it's, going it's making money yeah, yeah. i know <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but your titles are kind of clickbait. Yes, they are! It's about making money! Smaggle, you're a YouTube viewer. Yeah, exactly. Alright, if you're a YouTube viewer, you click on a thing that's clickbait, and you watch it, that's your own L. You can't complain. Wait, but, but they're not like clickbait where it's wrong. It's like, yeah. why is Pokemane doing this? 
Is Hassan Piker afraid? How will technicals expose me? He is being sued for $5 million, confronting Ethan Klein's employee. All of these are true. Yeah, exactly. Confronting Ethan Klein's employee. Yeah, I posted of me reacting to the debate from last year. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, that's my content, you asshole. Yep, but it's me reacting to it, so it's it's mine. Oh, oh, well, at least you reacted to it. And then it turns into like a conversation with like Dylan Burns halfway through because I had that and I didn't think it would be good by itself, so I just clapped it in. Dude, I, I my clips are so Frankenstein. I have like fifty different fucking things happening in them, and I just have I timestamped like, them. Like at the end of the new video, it's just Tom talking about Legos. <laughs> nice. Dude, that's like the, the, yeah. that's like the best content though, right? Like when you watch and it's drama, then it just becomes like Legos. It's like why? It's like okay. Yeah, he's like it. Star Wars is bad, but Legos are for men. Yeah. Exactly. All right, let's keep let's finish this. There's not much left. I don't want to subject myself to I don't want to subject myself to racism for the sake of trying to tell my part under any circumstances. All right, we can we can break bread though, right? Can we both go on Edwin's stream and talk then? Because I do want it to be public. Can we do it on a channel that's not mine? Whatever, Oscar. Circumstances. I want to subject myself to that, and I don't believe, honestly and truly, that in his online environment that he could actually genuinely stop uh, oh, people from doing that. Um, <laughs> because <laughs> any given opportunity is what I've seen <laughs> from his audience, and whilst. <laughs> I understand that you can't be responsible for every individual. I think you're responsible for the culture it is that you uh, foster. Hence why me talking about this, only up to a bunch of different shit. I do not. Oh, you know what? We'll do it on Dylan Burns' stream. <laughs> All right, listen. You're in the, it's his home team advantage for her. Because, I mean, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, let's go as far left as we could possibly go. It'll be home team advantage. Let's go. All right, here's the deal. Let me respond to this, all right? I do not cultivate a culture of racists. I cultivate a culture of edgelords for sure. I mean, that's that's undeniable, okay? I mean, I, I I talk about how much I enjoy edgy humor and stuff like that all the time. I don't think anybody in my audience is actually, like, genuinely racist. I think they're just, you know, fucking shit posters. you know what I mean? Isn't um, Nick Fuentes a fan? No. Oh. You try to own me, Smaggle? You piece of shit? <laughs> Fuck you. Is that I've done and been a part of and been, you know, the catalyst for is important to me because I want to change the culture of my audience. I don't want my audience to be, you know, the people who sit down and think that everybody is above reproach. We're all individuals. We're all humans. We all have ups. We all have downs. We all have highs. We all have lows. And I feel like it's important. We change the culture if we can. And if we can't change the culture, then acknowledge the culture. Like I acknowledge that my, my fan base at times can be toxic. 100%. 100%. I've fostered that environment and I need to change that. So... Yes, so that's the whole situation between myself and Orgy. In terms of um, the ins and outs and specifics, all that kind of stuff, if he wants to have that conversation with me still, because the invitation is still open, he just hasn't responded. But if he wants to have that conversation with me still, we can definitely have that conversation about the specifics of the incident. But in terms of where it is that I'm coming from as a black woman, where I'm coming from as a black woman is just simple, is that it's important to me and my reactions are strong to it because it directly affects me. And that's why. So yeah, that's the Orgy situation. Do I take back anything right. that I've said? That's fair. I definitely take back calling him a shooter. I called him a shooter. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, does that mean she thinks I'm so racist though? <laughs> wait, bruh. That was a little bit little too far. I was angry and I should not have let my emotions get above me. So I guess for that, let's take a shot of Saki, right? Cheers. Let's go. That's best. Saki is best. Alright, that was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that was pretty fair, I thought. Uh, it was definitely, it's definitely a massive improvement from the previous cents. discourse, right? Um, my only issue is that a couple of the situations were a little bit misrepresented. Not saying that she was intentionally doing that, because I don't think so. It's just like, it's kind of like, you know, we weren't laughing. We're, I feel like anyone from her audience, if they watch this segment, they might think I'm a bit of a sociopath. Um, I don't think I am. But like, the perfect reason to want to have some kind of conversation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear yeah. That up. Um, yeah, I don't know. The only other thing I can say about the segment, she kind of presents it like I ran from a debate or something. I didn't. It was just li literally like the, it was just a timing issue. Um, <laughs> and I'm still open to it and I probably will try and set that up here in a, uh, probably after the stream. Hit her up. Here's the deal. I don't mean to sound like I'm trying to make this not as a, like as least offensive as possible. Um, I, obviously, I don't compare this to being like a black creator. I, I mean, I'm, it's not the same thing at all. But 
there's one extremely difficult thing that I've learned on YouTube as a white person. Um, if you're ever being accused of being racist by a black creator, that's a hell of a fucking position to be in. Yes. Right? So, like, when Turkey Tom was being accused of being a racist by D'Angelo Wallace, it feels like almost... You feel bottlenecked. You can't respond. Because anything you say, like, I don't know, dude... I mean, he's being called racist by D'Angelo fucking Wallace. How does he yeah. respond to that? So, You're like, own. when you get called by, like, a racist by Petty Page, it's like... I, do, do you uh, Did you ever feel at any point, you're like, there's nothing I could possibly do to convince a certain percentage of the internet that well, I'm not racist? Here's the deal, right? Like, it wasn't really about convincing the internet. It was more just convincing her. Because she's coming out here saying you're a racist, mm -hmm. and I'm like, we're, con we're, we're conflating too much shit here, right? We're saying that edgy people in chat... And edgy shit happening my stream is racism. I deny that. I don't think that that is because I see racism as like, you know, genuine, like, I don't like this person because they're black. That's what I think of racism, not like a joke. There's racist jokes, but I don't think racist jokes are racist. I think she might disagree on that. And I think that's where like the disconnect is there. You yeah, I, I mean? just I just think there are some unwinnable situations. And for a lot of points, that's one of them. The other is like, uh, you're arguing with a girl online and she starts crying. Like a crying girl is Your very owns. difficult to you're argue against. Just yeah, destroyed. yeah. And, and I think it's it, it, it's like because I I don't know if Petty Page said this, but I know other people said this when we argue with them. It's like why are a bunch of white people online afraid of being called racist? And it's just like because that's the worst thing you could call somebody short of being like a pedophile. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean that's enough to get people's platforms taken away. That's I mean if you if you brand somebody that way and they're not genuinely that, uh, it if can have a known, massive fucking impact. On yeah. If you're known lives, as a racist, yeah. you're poison to society. Like you yeah. are just useless. You can't get a job. You can't have make money online. You're fucked. You're finished. Right. Because so nobody's just an asshole anymore. Now they're a racist asshole. Yeah. It's not or, enough. Because uh, that's what yeah. I am. I I accept the label of asshole. Right. But I don't accept the label of racist because it's just peaches not true. is right. It's so broad, you can't deny it without sounding defensive, and you can't ignore it without looking bad. Yeah, that's it's- That's a good way to put it, yeah. It's a really good way to put it. Uh -huh. That's a- yeah. Um, so that's the problem, right? I think- I think she conflates- My issue with Petty Page, and people are in the chat are saying I'm being remarkably charitable. The reason why I am is because she's shown uh, a decent amount of charitability to me very recently. Um, she's talked about- She's kind of- she's kind of talked a little bit about this on- on stream. She seems to be a lot more open to specifically free speech, which shocked me, but she- I remember she made a thread a few months ago talking about how Leafy getting banned, like, turned the tide on YouTube, and whether you like him or not, it's important that, you know, we have speech. I was kind of blown away. I was kind of shocked, to be honest, right? And and specifically with me, she's shown a lot of charitability to me recently, so I'm willing to offer this- like, I treat people the same as they treat me. If you're a piece of shit to me, I'm a piece of shit to you. Uh, but if you're cool with me, then I'm cool with you. You know what I mean? And I'm, I don't really hold grudges with people either. Some people, as someone who's like thrown a lot of shade at Paige, I, I feel like I want to just be like an advocate here for her for a second. Um, it's like I think a lot of tensions were really fucking high during the protests last year. Well, I didn't think about that, right? So wait, I thought this shit happened like. Because Paige was cool with us before that. Yeah. She was dope. She was shitting on Jeffrey Star. She was coming on Edwin's stream. She was like, oh, yeah, yo, Nick's she awesome, whatever. She loved your videos, she, yeah. Yeah, and then, like, she watched your... She didn't have any problems with your channel and stuff like that. She was just casually cool with all of us. And I feel like it was around that time where, it was like, like it relations seemed It was a big shock, to I think, when she, like, it tunes into a live stream. And that happens or something. You know, I'm willing to acknowledge that, yeah. It probably yeah. was. Even though, look, I'm gonna be honest. I per personally... I don't understand it, right? But I'm willing. But you don't. To, you can't. Yeah, you I'm, know what I mean. I'm willing to acknowledge that you don't have like, that shared experience. So, like, I yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like that. So, to you. me, when I see something on the internet, like the things that I don't like on the internet is like, um, what's like a sore spot for me on the internet? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I guess when people are like, I, there's really nothing. Oh, fuck, I'm trying to. And think like, about if this. if she sees our timelines and we're like, the rioting needs to stop, and I don't care if white redneck militia men start mo. Okay. Like, I'm just saying, Even like something completely innocent. Like, if she sees <laughs> us laughing at a Destiny clip of him saying, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That from could her be, perspective, that could be she's like, like, holy shit. You yeah, like, I mean? look, look at these white nationalists I'm following. Yeah, these people yeah, are literally possible. like insane. That's what she's probably thinking in her head. Now, that's irrational. It's an irrational conclusion to come to. But I can see like just like how 
I, I can see where that, like how that happens. I don't. I still don't agree with it, uh, and it seems like she doesn't really agree with it anymore, right? Um, because she's she's acknowledging that it, it was more of a mono, uh, of an emotional response and less of a logical one. So she's willing to acknowledge that. It's like okay, well, fair enough. You know, everybody gets fucking heated. Like there's, I get heated. Like because I remember our first big clash with her was over deaf noodles. Right. So if she already had this like in the back of her head that like hey these guys are just but, like hold on, I gotta ask though like. Like, BLM, George Floyd, that was like 2020, though. This was 2021 that that clip comes from. That was like a year ago. I think she was mad at us, and then I think it didn't come to a head until Deaf Noodles. Yeah. I. That's how I always picture this, is that, like, they saw us going after Deaf Noodles, and she didn't have any problem with our actual critiques of Deaf Noodles. She had a big problem with John's video, where he did, like, orange face. And so, like, hey, I'm from Brazil. I think that's where she, like, snapped and hated us. Um, I think so. I mean, it, okay, I'm okay. Even still, here's the, here's my issue. Okay, I'm having a bit of a conflict here, right? Because I want to extend shared ability, but I still don't understand like how you come to the conclusion that somebody's racist because of like a shock value clip or something like that, right? Like, well, here, right? So, okay, I don't thing, agree with me, it. Let me clarify. I don't let agree with it, considering I partic I partook in I it. I understand how she came to the conclusion. But I still think it's crazy and wrong. That's is my problem. Look, if you say something in your head for over a year uh, or, or something and you keep reinforcing yourself that what you're believing is true, anybody can believe anything. Um, okay. I, it's like, so when we were doing the, uh, the Deaf Noodles meme where it's like we're going to Brazil and stuff like that. Now, I, me and you, we see that as a critique of his thumbnails, that he just has like really shitty thumbnails, right? And then he upped the saturation. Mm -hmm. um, I could understand if someone who already had a negative connotation about us took that and went, obviously, they're going after him because he's Brazilian. Not realizing that Edwin's literally fucking Spanish and he's doing it too uh, with us. Right? That, like, we, wouldn't, we obviously wouldn't start going after fucking people. Um, I've, got, I've got to that, adopt like, a whole intrinsically other affect our own friends. view that's, like, so fucking different from mine. Like, to me, this is just irrationality, right? But mm -hmm. I'm also sympathetic to it, but it also doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's why you wouldn't have that perspective. Like, I mean, it's right. just... You would never say something like that because it's irrational to you. But I don't... I see a lot of people online as, like... I don't... There's people online I would never meet like, in real life. Like, I can life, be sympathetic to different. something, but have no understanding of why I'm being sympathetic in a way. I guess because I, I think you guys should nice. talk. I, I do think you guys should talk, and I think you should either um, kind of I don't know, just agree to disagree, or come to like a mutual conclusion. Because right. um, I, I don't know. I feel like it seems like Paige is open to doing that, and it seems like you are too. Um, pretty fair. Maybe she can give you a bit more insight into why she thought the things she thought. Yeah, and maybe that can make you more. Aware for future I feel like uh, I need confrontations. To, like, pick her brain a lot. Well, I mean, dude, this. it seems like this is a pretty fucking interesting uh, situation to be in. Because if Paige can explain to you what you do that makes people think that you're racist or some shit, um, you that's could valuable. That's valuable information. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, it, it, if it's not totally stupid and and you can learn something from it, I think you should. I feel like I think there's a portion of the audience that's head. listening to this right now and thinks I'm a fucking retard. But I'm just trying to like. Because, like, I don't know. It's irrationality to me, but I, I, I don't know. I need to, I, I, yeah, you're right. I need to have this fucking I mean, I made a lot of the same comments. I made a lot of the same jokes. Um, obviously, Paige thinks there's a difference between us because my segment wasn't me. My segment was just an extension of your segment, and I wasn't named, really. Yeah. So I, I, there's obviously some difference that Paige sees between the both of us when we made the same comments, the same jokes, the same laughs, the same giggles. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That could be good. Could be bad. Right. Who knows? Either way, could be content. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, well, I want it to be public, that's know. for sure. Just just so that yeah. everybody can hear it. Um, it doesn't have to be on my channel or on my content. I don't have to make a dime from it. I'm not interested in money. I'm just more interested in just it being publicly available. Because, but... dude, private conversations can be manipulated in so many different ways. And I don't think it's a crime to acknowledge that that is the case. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Like, I don't know, Tur- Turkey Tom dragging me into a conversation with Angelica Oles is part of the reason why I haven't finished that video yet. It's like, I don't know, I just, I hate knowing things in private that I can't convey in public. And I hate uh-huh. having too much information or, like, not enough information. Like, in that case, I told Angelica Oles exactly step by step what to do. And then she's like, okay, and then she didn't do it. Yeah. Like, she's like, okay, I will do that. And then she didn't. But I can't call her on it because, like, it's not public. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Um, the problem is, is like the stuff that she's critical of me in that video is stuff that I still do now. You know what I mean? Like, it's, what do you not mean? Like I was, it's not like I was super edgy like a year ago and tweeting all that stuff. And now I'm like different. I'm the, I'm the exact same. You know what I mean? Uh, I think that was one issue I think I had with her video is it seemed like she presented this idea that I'm a little bit more chilled back now. I don't know if I am. Like, I think I'm... I, I, like... There's just stuff that I'm not willing to concede on that I feel like is, like, important. I don't know. Well, it's... Di- Alright, so there's two different things, right? Um, there's, like, you making jokes on your show, and, and I assume the the la- the alternative being that, like, you're tweeting at her saying that she's, like, a race baiter. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, I don't think you're actively doing that at this moment in time and not currently no. doing that. Um, and that would be one thing that you did then that you don't do now. Um, I assume if, like, the more personal attacks left a bigger mark. And those mm-hmm. are what she's realizing that you're not currently doing. Now, I don't know if that's, like, a character adjustment or if that's just, like, well, we haven't been in drama recently where that happened, so I'm not going to say it happened, you know what I mean? But either way, I, I could imagine that, like, um, the personal stuff probably stings more than the, uh... That's... That's possible, yeah. Yeah. Nick ripped that dog in half. Oh, I'm sorry, it's barking. I couldn't hear it. Maybe we will. Who knows? I'm tuned out to Find the out dog next time. because I grew up with a dog my whole life, so I just naturally tune out when they bark. Bro, every time I hear dog and I'm in a call with you, all I think of is that story about how you didn't give your dog a steak on his last day and you gave <laughs> dude, him fucking kibble, dude. That might be the best thing Ben ever contributed to my channel. <laughs> He's like, why didn't you give him, like, steak or something? And you're like, dude, I gave him his fucking kibble. <laughs> I gave him fucking kibble on his last meal. Oh my god, you're his such his an asshole. One. Dude. Uh, oh. He lived a really good and retarded life and... <laughs> <laughs> he went out the way he came in. All right, that's all I'm saying. Wait, who? Through a ben pussy or the dog? Like no, through a dog pussy? No, like he he came into this world in a retarded way, and he left retardedly too. It's what he would have wanted. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I thought they like euthanized him while he was like having sex or something. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You should have given him chocolate. Well, that's what Ben was saying. Yeah, because it doesn't matter. You can give him like fucking like acid or something. Well, I mean that would be. <laughs> oh, you're thinking the drug. I was thinking like physically acid that would like melt him <laughs> or something. I'm like at that point, why not just put him down? Like that seems pretty inhumane. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like I morally object to this. <laughs> yeah, I think that like you know I don't think we should fucking melt the dog. That would be crazy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, don't know. I mean, why not? It's his last day. I caught a shiny Giratina. Yeah, he's gonna die anyway. Stream, you might as well Augie. just yeah, do it yourself. he's gonna die. Why not? Augie, why are you not congratulating me on my shiny Pokemon that I caught yesterday? Oh, congratulations, man. Shut, shut the like, fuck up for you. one second. Shut the no, fuck no, up. No, no, you ain't gonna tell no, me to shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up, bro. Pussy. You're acting you know like what? me being a pussy content. or whatever. Do I'm you, the one who said no. come on to the fucking yeah. show. Well, you know what? You want to talk? Do a little bit of research on me, motherfucker. I got See, this is how he came at me. He expected me to have a conversation like this when he came at me like this. You need to learn to approach people, motherfucker. You came at me before I came in here, motherfucker. You said I'm looking for content. No, 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 no. Fuck you, no. pussy. No, Fuck you. No, you were literally, from you, you were literally, I don't need you. dude, what the fuck is this, dude? Did you ever think you'd hear Tipster in, like, one of these fucking, like, just, I, I don't even know, dude. This is, like, literal blood sports. I don't even understand what anybody's saying, but holy shit. You were talking shit before I came even in here. I don't want fucking content from you, pussy. I don't fucking need you, all right? I'm not So what, so what is this all about, then? What is this all about? Why are you on Twitter right now th- th- threatening to like drop some big expose on me if this ain't about content? What's the fucking point? You go- <laughs> you're, literally, you're literally like, look, on your Listen, Twitter right now, it, on your Twitter right now, let me find your fucking tweet. Hey, Tipster, yes. I can't tag him because he's got me blocked. Like- Tipster's got the receipts, dude. Oh my God, he's going in. All right, when anybody's like, 
it's about and then he's like you could you could tell he made that shit up on the spot dude he has no fucking idea what's going on right now dude he expected tipster to come in all cuddly and shit and like oh yeah you know we both made some error dude tipster fucking met his intensity and threw it back at him and now he's like a cowering bitch puppy listen to this bro, you for, what? Nice. for what for what because you're not just spit nice it out bro just spit it out bro oh it's God. all over your twitter dickhead spit it out mm -hmm. well you tell me what on. you got listen you fucking i hit you up Yes, I was abrasive because that's the way. Yes, I was abrasive because that's the way I talk. Oh my god, puppy dog heel! Holy shit! Tell Long me what thong. you got. Listen, you fucking. I hit you up. Yes, I was abrasive because that's the way I talk. Yeah, bro. my I'm point exactly. Northeast. Yeah, I'm from the northeast. I'm from bro. the northeast. But you can't dudes come in someone's like DMs. Dudes. You can't. Talk no, no, to no, men no, no, like no. Men. You Chill ain't gonna. Dude, you can't talk like a man like a man. I'm from the northeast. Holy shit, dude. This has to be the. This literally has to be the fucking craziest. Like, I, I don't know. What was he expecting to happen, dude? I'm very hype. Okay. Um, I don't know what were we doing. <laughs> you were watching this video or something. Oh, let me catch this really quickly. Wait, please tell me I have my. Okay, I have my master ball. I'm just putting it in the master ball. Fuck that. What if you kill it, lol? I'm not gonna fucking kill it, Ball Black. Shut up. Do it. Did you already <laughs> use your master ball? I no. I ha I started a new game and got another ball. I have fucking Giratina. I'm so excited. What we have the Nick diss track. What is this? That's the other diss track. That's the Ethan Ralph one. It's terrible. But I oh got, my god, we have to listen I to it. I thought you had heard that one already. They sent you the banks I have one, it. but not that one. I haven't. No, I haven't heard this one either. I am so fucking stoked. You have no <laughs> idea. Oh god, send this to the box. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, this is so fucking sick. All right, now that I got the clip of me catching it, we can go back to your stream so I can put this on my second channel. <laughs> I'm fucking hyped.